Sometimes we don't have the luxury of picking out the location where we shoot, even for a paid job. What do you do? Hi, my name is Alec Godwin. If you're meeting me for the first time and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you 10 simple ways that you can ensure that cinematic interview in a boring space. Number one, pick your space. In other words, in your location, choose the area that you think can give you the best result. For your space, you might want to look for depth. You need depth between the, the subject and the background. So you could, if you want to blur the background, number two, you want to work on your framing. Interviews that I like to shoot, I would rather be here, right here in the intersection, somewhere around here, like this, and have my eye level above this point, and I'll frame it better so that something like this, but you don't want that headroom. You want to close up the headroom a little bit more, okay? Um, now, now, I've got my um, rule of thirds grid on so I can see where I should be. Number three, set the mood with the lighting. Number four, pick your camera angles. Um, in this example, I shot with two cameras and I advise to always do that. Um, you want to do two different focal lengths and two different angles for it to be seamless. Number five, prep your interviewee. Prepare them, make them comfortable. They will give you the best when you do that. Number six will be audio. Audio is key. I always do two or more options for audio. Now number seven, get as much B-roll as you can. It will save the day. Number eight is avoid jump cuts. So they go hand in hand because you actually avoid jump cuts with B-rolls. Number nine, add some music. <laughs> music can help you tell better stories, especially for documentaries like this piece that we have. Get a glimpse at the interview we shot. Hi, my name is Liliana Lepin. I work for Olive Support Services and I am the program manager here and I oversee outreach. So I plan events, I try to network with as many community members, um, organizations in the Antelope Valley to provide resources to our participants. Hi, my name is Sibone Vargas Gonzalez. I am the intake and outreach specialist here at Olive Support Services. Now number 10 is add some production value. You can do that by showing the setup. I love a slider. I did not use for this situation, but when you do it right, you kind of have a glimpse of the lights, the camera, the lenses, the, you know, the setup, you know, and a lot of people can learn too from that. All right, that's it. I hope this helped you out. You can leave some questions and contributions in the description below, and um, I'll see you in the next video.